G'day, my name's Glenn Ashby. I am on the sailing team here at Emirates Team New Zealand. The main roles really with the team for the last sort of decade has, has been sort of sail trimming or aero trimming. Um, we've been through you know sort of wings and, and soft sails and, and we're now into a, a twin skin mainsail concept. So over that sort of decade there's been quite a variance. And what we're doing now with the, uh, the twin skin mainsail concept um, and the structures and how we're pushing things now is extremely challenging. Um, really, really exciting and we're really pushing boundaries that have never been done before. Is the America's Cup stressful? Uh, yes, it is. It is very much a big pressure cooker for, for not only, you know, I guess the sailing side of things, but for the rest of the wider team. There's a huge amount of effort and work that goes in behind the scenes that nobody ever, ever gets to see. There's so many departments that, that are absolutely under the pump at different periods throughout the campaign. Um, obviously the design team in the early part gets a pretty big hammering with um, the, the concept and, and getting things initially going. And the sailing team at the end ultimately has the pressure come on in actually getting the, the finished product around the racetrack in good shape. So definitely a lot of pressure but um, that's why we do it. Perfectionism, if you like, you know, with the America's Cup is, I think it's about the attention to detail in really every department, um, you know, whether it be electronics, hydraulics, marketing, doesn't matter what department you're in, I think it's just that real level of detail and leaving no stone unturned um, is, is really important. Teamwork, you know, right the way through the whole um, team here at Emirates Team New Zealand is, is one of our core values. We very much are a big family and we all work really, really closely together interdepartmentally to, to obviously get the best performance out of the boat. As far as teamwork goes, um, you know, good teamwork generally uh, wins the America's Cup. You're sailing on the boat, you, you do have the rest of the team, um, you know, and the rest of the country, if you like, on, on your shoulders and, and watching your every move. Um, you, you can't make mistakes because everybody sees them and, and you get judged on those. So for us, it's about just continually refining our own personal development, you know, on board sailing the boat. The physicality of, of these boats nowadays is pretty immense. One thing that's pretty unseen or unknown is actually how much the boats move around and the g-forces of the boat. Um, on the TV it doesn't look like they move around very much, it all looks pretty stable, but when you're on board you, you're getting flicked around like a, a bit of a rag doll. Yeah look, Challenger to Defender is, is, is definitely uh, a different program. It's almost easier in some ways to, to, to be a Challenger because you're just worrying about yourself and in actual fact you are still very much a challenger um, as you go into the America's Cup. So we've very much taken on the approach that we're, we're challenging ourselves. And at the end of the day, if you put your defender hat on, you're probably not pushing things hard enough. The development, I have been absolutely surprised with how we've, end, you know, how fast the boats have actually ended up. Um, initially, we, we sort of had some numbers of what we thought the boats were capable of doing. Um, you sort of had some dreams of, of possibly what the boats could do, but when those dreams, I guess, become reality um, before you even get to the America's Cup of some of the performance numbers that you're doing, you're like, wow, this is, where's this going to end? And, you know, we are just getting faster and faster and the boat's performance is getting better and better. And, you know, when the boat's performance gets better, it opens up more doors and avenues of opportunity of what manoeuvres are achievable and what modes are achievable and what racing scenarios are achievable against an opponent. So it's just a, a huge learning experience at the moment. And, you know, I think we're really, again, probably just scratching the surface of where these boats could get to.